good as Asia Sky from the DX Daily Podcast. And the four-year wait for Pusha T's is almost dry, is almost over. Ahead of the release of his new album this Friday, April 22nd, Pusha T chopped it up with Rolling Stone to provide further insight into what he's calling the album of the mother year. The title, It's Almost Dry, is another one of those esoteric, if you know you know, references that are peppered throughout Pusha T's co-grab catalog. Pusha took time to break down the meaning behind the title, which in typical double entendre fashion also nods to another theme close to his heart. He said, I'm always creating a masterpiece and in the creation of that in terms of a painting, you end up telling people while they're waiting on it, it's almost dry because they're always asking, when will it be done? And you have to wait on masterpieces. He continued, also in drug culture, a lot of times you'll have people waiting on the product and it's not dry yet. You can come get it when it's dry. Pusha T has served up three tasters of the Kanye West and Pharrell produced album so far with Diet Coke, Hear Me Clearly, and Neck and Wrist featuring Jay-Z. But there is a song that the public hasn't heard yet that he considers to be a personal standout on the album. He revealed that a track called Just So You Remember Who You're Dealing With is the one that stands out most to him. He said, I never want people to ever forget who they're dealing with. People have been watching me post pictures of my son for 20 months now and they see me calm. But nah, the song is about my mentality and mindset. I can tap back in whenever I'm ready and need to. <laughs> so after hearing Pusha T talk about the release of his upcoming album, what do you think it's going to sound like and what are you most excited about for it's almost dry is it the bars the production the features let us know in the comment section below also be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell subscribe to the dx daily podcast and keep it locked in to hip-hop dx